So Self Help is a user-led mental health charity. Uh, we currently have around 130 staff and approximately 80 volunteers. Self Help really works really hard to provide like first class services um, around mental health which are really innovative and um, are really empowering to people, sort of helping people to help themselves. We have psychological services ranging from uh, e-therapy, counselling, one-to-one -one support, right through to our more community-based services such as our dropping groups and our peer-to-peer -peer project. Well, I, I got into the job that I do because I'm actually a user of services um, and found that the help that I received from Self Help just absolutely incredible. It changed my life. Um, I started volunteering uh, with the organisation. I started facilitating groups. Um, and I use my lived experience to support other people. So um, the peer, we have a number of peer-led services. So what I'm involved in is the drop-in groups, um, of which there are eight across Manchester and Trafford. Um, and what the service provides is um, it, it's kind of a unique space for people um, to just turn up, talk about their experiences, um, share coping strategies, um, and meet and talk with people who have the same experiences as themselves. One to one peer support is um, a service whereby we have a team of peer mentors who've got lived experience of mental health difficulties um, and they're on hand to provide um, emotional support, social contact, recovery advice um, or even signposting people um, to other services um, and support agencies for support around um, mental health difficulties such as anxiety, depression, um, panic attacks and low mood. Um, the peer to peer service is aimed at um, anyone with you know, low mood, um, anxiety, depression, anyone with common um, mental health um, um, issues. Um, I ended up on a course um, and uh, I got so much from the course and learned so much that I thought it would be good for me to put that into practice, into volunteering. I really do enjoy, I enjoy both roles. Um, it's really, really, really what I was built for, I think. Okay. E-therapy is online CBT, essentially. It's learning the cognitive behavioural therapy toolkit uh, via interactive modules on websites called Silver Cloud, Sleepio. We used to use Beating the Blues, Living Life to the Full as well. And it's essentially a really good way for people to kind of access services, get the support, learn the toolkit. And in e-therapy, they do it online. So some people prefer to do that all at home, so they might kind of do the modules at their own pace, on their own time, after work, or when the kids have gone to bed and then we might phone them for half an hour a week to support them through it. That's kind of what our role is for. And then obviously they can come to venues as well in the local area. So community places like the Zion Centre, the NHI Centre in Salford, uh, Altering Library, Didsbury Library, and they can kind of come along, do the sessions on laptops and computers we provide, and we kind of talk to them, and our volunteers would talk to them as well. And um, people can access the service by giving us a ring, we'll send them a self-referral form, which they can post back, email back, um, or they can obviously go to their GP, we get some referrals from social workers as well. So, but primarily it's GP and self-referral. So people trying to access um, mental health services face a, you know, a number of barriers really, um, which are out there in society and these can be um, economic, um, for one thing, um, people in more deprived areas find it hard to, um, to, to get the services that they need. Um, it can be things like ethnicity, and um, language barriers, it could be sexuality, um, a range of kind of demographic things like that. And then just down to other things like the right services not being in the right place at the right time. Self-help really works to address those, you know, to really um, to, to reach out to people and to, to positively include people who really, really need the help and to be in the right places at the right time. Here at Self Help we're committed to making sure that everybody who needs it gets the help that they need, whether it's from crisis support from one of our sanctuaries, right through to more community and peer-based services. What we also like to focus on is making sure that people who have that lived experience are valued and can use their experience to support others. This is exampled in things like our peer-to-peer -peer service and our drop-in groups and we hope then what we do is empower people to make positive changes and improve their mental health.